Hey everyone, well it's sad today. Um, I'm on my way to, to the field for the last time. Um, Charlie's new owner just gave me a message saying she's on, his, on her way. And I'm crying even now, but I've got to be strong. When she's on the trailer, on a truck, and driving off, that means that when I can break down. Um, but I've got to be strong until then. Um, I've got to give her some small amount of hay. And I just give her just hay on the floor. And I've got to bring all her tack and all her rugs and everything to, to the field top. So, I don't know where, I want to see if I can say, I tell her, like, do you want all the stuff packed away in your car or whatever before we load her? Um, I ain't looking forward to loading her because I know what she's going to be like. She's probably going to be tin and tantrums, um, bully sour, because she does, she does like her buddies at the moment. Um, I ain't look forward to it, but I notice the owner, like her new owner, has loaded different horses before, so I'm hoping that would also help. Um, I've got a passport in my bag, so I'm using my little bag today because I've got a passport in it. Um, I do have a pen because you got to sign the ownership off, so the new owners can like get to an owner because you'll sign your ownership off. So like once you sold, once you're trying to get sell them or whatever, um, you've got to sign your ownership off. That means like it'll just make it easy for someone else to own her. Um, so I've got 45 minutes to do it all this in. Um, I'm trying to walk as quick as I can because I don't know how long or how many trips I've got to do to the top. I'm hoping I just do it in one, but I might have to do it in two. It depends. I know she doesn't have a lot of stuff, but. It's going to be the last time I'll be walking this way and last time I'll see her today. So I've got to say my goodbye today. I'm hoping I have time to say goodbye before she does come. Because with Harley, I didn't have a chance to say goodbye to him. Once he was on a trailer and, that, and then the person drove off and that was it. So I didn't really have a time to say goodbye. Um, no one has got my phone number, so... So she said she'll keep me updated and um, hopefully have an update when she's settled later today. Um, so she said say that she'll ring if she gets lost as well, but I'm no good at directions. I, the only direction I know is when you come into the Bobbage Road and that's it. But I don't know, no good at directions. I feel like crying right now, but I'm trying to be strong. I'm trying to say, think to myself, this is a good thing. Uh, it means Charlie can get like her education further on, she can get further home, and hopefully she can still be loved and still cared for like I've done. Um, so I did let Faria know, I did let the Shakti know. So I did let them to know because she is she was due for Faria on Monday. So I let him know. I just told him like the reason why. So he, he knows the reason why. I've got to as soon as she's drove off, I've got to um, let the Morris know that she's gone and why. And I've still got to pay two months of rent for delivery so I've still got to do that and I still got vet bill to pay off um I think I've got 96 pounds on the vet bill I've still got to pay off and I've got the old vets to pay off too so it means like when we get moved and settled I can work on myself I can put so my all my efforts going these days is for my writing courses and it's going to my life is going to different directions i want to get a job i want to 
go out. I want to um, hopefully um, have a writing career. I give it just a side job. I have a main job to get more income because writers don't. I don't think they have too much income, so I do want to get into writing stories and being published and being an author like that. I do want to. That's one of my dreams. Even just a side one. Um, so I've got. I think I should have 30 minutes now. I've got to do a lot of things. I've got a halter on her. Put a lead drop on her. Where are we going to load her? It might have to be the arena because how Morris did the field gate now, you can't even park the truck in there, which is annoying. Because it'll be like a, a stop goat for her. Um, but I have been honest with the person that wants picking up today. I have been honest. Like, I don't know too much of her background history. Um, what I told her what she's like about her injury and I've told her that she'll probably be either a companion or a very light ride but not very often um, so I have told a bit of history what I've and the things that I've done with her um, but when you're selling any animal you have to be honest either it's people are not going to be interested or you can't get rid of them too soon you got to be honest. Some, I've, I found like some afters with people who are selling their animals aren't always honest. They tell you false advertising and you pick them up and you find out like what things are wrong or you go see them and a lot of things are wrong. Um, which we to that blunder with Charlie. But nothing we could do about it. Because, you know, I do feel like Charlie was handled in the past. Would I be able to see her trotting you down and stuff? Okay, I just had a message to the person. This person is sounds a little picky now. Um, she gave me a message saying, "Can I see this this and cover?" And thinking, like, I know what people are like, but I don't know what to do. It's fingers crossed. This person does take her today now. Um, you know why people are picky because they just want like something that's gonna last what they want to do with her and all that um, but I just want Charlie to go to a further home I want a home for her my life is leading different directions what I've said my life is leading different directions there's more things I want to do in my life and I feel like the horse gene like like um, the wanting to have a horse to care for a horse I think that part of me is going I think ever since Harley left nothing has filled his shoes nothing has like um, been a big attachment from me like as soon as he left I think it was just a panic of like normal routine and also the panic of always having one that's why I got Charlie I think that part of it was that reason why um, I'm not dissing her or anything because she has got me through some stuff and I've relied on her and we have helped each other. I gave her a good start in life and that's all I could ask for. Same with Harley, I gave him a good start in life. It might have not been like a family different, but I gave him a good start. Just my way where he came from and what condition they were in. So I'm hoping this person is still okay. Fingers crossed, I'll let you know at the end of the day whether 
she's gone or whether she's still here and I need to find someone else to take her. I'll just let Shardy know and they say like, they're okay now. It's annoying. I think I should have let the Shardy and Fairy know afterwards. But yesterday I was like so out with it that I must have not realised that. But fingers crossed. Um, so I'm trying to walk a bit faster because I got busy time. So I've got to try and speed up. Because she's got to have her breakfast. And that's you'll be cranky loading which I know she probably wouldn't be so I can make it le less cranky my feet in there um I don't know what to do with the horse food and the horse treats we've got I don't know because I don't know anyone will have them because we've got loads at home I just bought a new bag of horse treats and <laughs> there's no point now it's annoying Right, it could be the last already to say, I'm not going to hold anything to it until I know she's loaded and drive, drove off. I'm not going to say anything but that, because at the minute she gave me a message saying she's a bit picky now, so um, I get the feeling she's probably going to say no. Even though I've had the okay with vets and I've had the okay where she can be rideable and everything, I've had the okay. I guess I should like give them the vet's details or something to get in touch with them. Because I don't know what I want, like the more proof, I don't know. But my neck feels like it's burning. I don't know why, but it does. I need restroom, so... I need a toilet right now. I didn't really go at home, so it's annoying. Um, so I've got the pen in here, which I'll sign as soon as she's loaded. I'll sign it. I'm not going to sign until then because until I know she's gone. Um, but yeah, so it could be last time today. You never know. Bye.